Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us start our diagrams practice with respect to finite automata, right? Deterministic finite automata, okay? Yes. So, let us start with the start symbols. So, I will be discussing about three concepts in this lecture. So, the first one will be with respect to start symbols. The second one will be with respect to ending symbols. And the third one will be with respect to substrings. So, the only reason why we are discussing these basic things is because whenever you want to draw a automata for a big requirement, so at that time, you should first of all know how you need to start, right? So, that is the reason why we will be starting from really basics guys okay yes so the first thing which i want to say is a starting with the b guys okay with the b so basically let us represent with small letters okay yes so for all the questions i will be assuming a comma b as our set of all the alphabets okay yes okay so now i wanted to map only b value right yes so whenever you are working with these questions i am using a standard approach guys so please you also follow that will be really easy for us okay Yes. So whenever we wanted to start with the B, okay. So if we are starting with the B, after B there could be anything, right? So indirectly, what is the smallest string possible, guys? It is a B, right? So first of all, draw the diagram for that, guys. So I think everyone now remember first draw the start state. So from start state, if I find B, I will go to B. I will go to this path. And now this is my final state as a B is the only thing which I want to accept. Okay, so now B is done. So now add one more string. So now BB should be possible. So now I will make a loop here. So BB is accepted. What about BA? BA should also be accepted. So I can add a loop here also. So now what about if a string starts from A? So it should be rejected, right? Yes. So means from here, I so here, so observe with, the, with this also you observe, guys. So here, both the alphabets are done, right? So this particular loop or this particular state is done. So now when it comes to this particular state, this particular state for B it is available, but for A it is not available. So let us write for A also. We came to Q2. So if you recall, if something is starting with A, we should not accept it, right? So that is the reason why let us loop it here itself for infinite time. So this is the diagram for starting with the B guys. Got it? Yes. So that's a quite interesting, right? Yes. So now most of the students will be like the next question will be starting with the A. But I don't want to do those type of things, guys. Because what if we want to do with the A, guys? So I will replace this with the B with the A. And if you, you will replace this A with the B, that's it. So those things I don't want to solve like uh, one by one. So that is the reason why let us complicate this thing. And let us practice uh, starting with the A, B. So now how many strings, guys? It is a double length. So now what is the smallest here? So it is AB. So if you are confused with this, you can write in this way also. So AB. So on one arrow, write A. On the other arrow, write B. So now connect them. So this is our start symbol. So this is our final state, right? Yes. So Q0, Q1, Q2. Okay. So this is satisfied. So after AB, anything comes, we need to accept. So indirectly, A comma B will be here. Okay, so now in between this is completely done. So now we are left out with these two, right? So if instead of A in the start, if we got B in the start or instead of second symbol B, if we got A, so assume that we got A, A. So A, A should not be accepted. So that is the reason why A, A also I am rotating here. So these two will go to a dead state, Q3, and this is going to be a permanent dead state. So once you get a B or A, A in a wrong order, you are going to be in that dead state forever, right? Yes. So this is a start with the A, B. So I think now everyone can clearly draw start with A double B, right? Yes. So from now on, please pause the video when I'm saying to draw guys. So please draw it and then resume the video guys. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I think everyone has paused the video and have completed it, right? Yes. So now let us try. So A, B, B. So what I'm saying first draw an arrow A, draw an arrow B, draw an arrow B. So this is our final state. And this is our start state. Okay, and now this is our final state. So anything if it comes in not order. So if I get the first B or if I get a double A, if I get a triple A or A, B, A. So all those things should come here. And here this will be at an infinite loop, right? So if B comes here, so B is done. So if A comes here, B is done if A comes here, right? Yes. So Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. And before finalizing the diagram, always check whether each and every node is a being covered with A and B. So here A means here, B means here. Here A means here, B means here. A means here, B means here. A, B means here. So everything is covered. So that's a perfect diagram. Okay. Yes. So now I think everyone understood, right? So how we are going to work with the starting with a particular symbol. 
Okay, so now we have solved three diagrams, right? Yes. So now please pause the video and you can try for A, A, B, B, right? Okay, I'm not going to draw it, but you can practice. So now you understood, right? So how we can create for starting with a particular symbol and that's really easy, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So now we are clear with it. So now let us analyze this one thing, guys. So when my start starting with is a one symbol, I got three as my result. When my starting symbol is a two, I got four as a result. When my starting symbol is a three, I got pi by result. So what I can observe here. So if my starting symbol is n, I'm going to need n plus two states, right? Yes. So that is the standard conclusion after this whole analysis, guys. So now I hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to starting with a particular symbol. So now if I say that a particular question is given in gate, assuming that way in 2022. So they told that starting with a series of alphabets, which are having 20, 22 letters. So they told A, 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 B like that in that length 20, 20, 22. So at that time, they are asking how many states are required by the deterministic finite automata. So if they ask just to add 2 for it, that will become 2, 2, 2, 4. Sorry, 2, 0, 2, 4. Got it? Yes. So that means the result. So this is a quite interesting question, right? Yes. So this is the final conclusion with respect to this is starting with a symbol. So now your question will be okay. So now let us go with the ending with the symbol. Okay. So ending with. So ending with A. Yeah. So instead of A, let us directly continue with A, B, guys. I want to make it complex in the initial stages only, right? Yes. Okay. So let us end a particular string with A, B. Okay. So what did I say first, guys? So first of all, draw this particular thing. So A and B. So assume that our string is only A, B. So at that time, it should be accepted, right? Yes. So let us write Q0, Q1, Q2. Okay, so now please concentrate guys. This is really important. So please concentrate. So here, what is the question guys? Ending with A, B. So if I come here and if my string is A, B, A. Means what should happen guys? So if I am here, so now A means I will come here. B means I will come here. So should I loop here or should I go back guys? If I loop here, it is going to be accepted. But it should end with A, B. It is not ending. So indirectly, I should go back, right? Yes. So that's an analysis or that is a difference in between this and this here as it is a starting with that at the end it could be anything as here it is a starting with something at the start it could be anything but at the end it should end with AB. Okay. So now with this analysis I think if a particular string is there like this so A, 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 thousand A's are there uh, sorry thousand B's are there assume in that way and after that we are having AB. So I think a simple trick here is uh, instead of going to other states if B's are coming just to loop here right. That's a quite easy trick, right? So all yes, you will eat here. And once you get A, B, you will come out here. Got it? Yes. So now this part is clear. So from Q0, I am done with A and B, right? Yes. So from Q1, if A comes, what I should do, guys? So please concentrate. So assume that the string we got is A, A, B. So it is ending with A, B. So what I can do is, so once I read A, the next A, I can loop it here, right? Yes. So how many A's might come in between? I will just loop blindly, right? Yes. And once the next B comes, I will go here. So it will form A, B here, right? Yes. Okay. So now this node is also done. So now the only question is with respect to this one, right? So Q2. So now assume that the string A, B, A, B came. So now this particular string should be accepted right? because it is ending with A, B. So now from A, I came here. From B, I came here. So now I am here. So now the string is A, B. So now if A comes, should I go here or should I go here, guys? So those are the two possibilities, right? Because loop is not allowed. As we have checked, if loop is allowed, you might end up if only A is there. So at that time, loop is not possible, right? Yes. Okay. So now let us try this case first. So if I go here, so now from here, is there B possibility? You will loop. At that time, this will not be accepted. So the only possibility if I see is if it is here. So now A, so observe here, A, B, A, and again B. So it's literally sinking, right? Yes, that's really good. Okay. So now let us take some other case. So let us take A, B, B, A, B. So from A, okay, we came here, A, B. So now for B, where we should go? So after we B, we are having A, B. Okay, so we might go here or we might go here, right? Yes. So I think for this example, both are possible. Okay, but assume in this way. So A, B, B, B. So we got three Bs here. So this string should not be accepted, right? Yes. So if I, if I came here, so A, B, after that B. So now when it comes to this B, should I go here? So if I go here, I will get one more B, I will come here. So again, I will get one more B, I will come here. 
okay but i think the most probable good thing will be if we go to the start right because here we are having a b loop so you will loop as much time as you want and once you get at the end ab you will come back here okay yes so in this way we can draw the diagram for ending with ab guys so now i hope everyone understood right so why i told few things are a bit complex so this is a bit complex when compared with the starting with ab right yes so now you understood right so how exactly we have drawn it yes so let us take one more small example and then we will be moving on to the substring ab guys so the only complex thing is ending with the string guys because i do understand that for the first lecture it might be a bit complex for you but you are understanding right so how exactly i am drawing it so if you practice you can easily draw these things guys these are not that much complex as we think okay yes so let us continue so assume that the given question is ending with aa -A. Okay, so I'll be doing, I will be using some tricks rather than writing these all strings. So I'll be using some tricks here. So please concentrate. Okay, so ending with a a. So q naught, q one, q two, or you can write it with arrows also. Both the approaches I will use. Guys, sometimes I will use some approach and the other time I will use some other approach. Okay, yes. Okay, so indirectly they are saying with ending with a a. So indirectly I can form a loop here, right? So how many a's comes? There is no issue for me because all are a's. So at the end it will end with a a only, right? Yes. Got it? Yes. So now the only question is what if a b's come here? Okay. So please concentrate, guys. Okay. So if I am at q naught and I got b b b b hundred b's after that I got two a's. So indirectly I can loop here, right? Yes. And what if a came? Okay. After that, hundred B's came. After that, one more A came. So now, what we can do? So I think uh, once you are here, so once we reached here, so from here, instead of uh, looping here, so if we loop here, what is the issue, guys? So after A, after two B's, we got a single A. We will accept this because here we are looping. So that is the reason why I think the most appropriate place to loop is here, right? Because we always want this A A order. Got it? Yes. So that is the reason why I will return back. Similarly, here also. So here I am having Q naught. So here both are A's. So now if I have a B, I would need to come back to the start, right? Yes. So now you understood it. Right? So this question took around three minutes to solve, like around two to three minutes. This took around one minute to solve. So the reason is here I am explaining for the first time. So I explained you everything in detail. So now as you understood few things, I have explained in a short form, right? Yes. So now let us go to the next example. Now I'll be explaining you a bit more fast. Okay. Please concentrate. So ending with the B A B. So this question is a three length, right? So it will be more complex, but it will be really easy if you understand the tricks which I am solving, right? So B A and B. So Q naught Q one. Q2, Q3, and Q3 will be the final state. So now it starts here. Okay. So now concentrate, guys. So assume that in this way. So it is ending with B A B. So basically, if A comes, what I should do, guys? So if A comes here, where A is there, guys? So here A is there. But can I directly jump here? No. So that is the reason why if A comes, I will come back to the start. Okay. So what if B comes? So indirectly, if B is coming here, I can start indirectly from here. This is indirectly that only, right? So I think I can directly jump to here because it forms a B A B in this way, right? Yes. So I can reduce one step from this, right? But when A comes, I cannot continue in some middle somewhere. So I need to continue from B A B again the string. Okay. So now this is done. So here from here A and B is done. So now moving on to Q two. So when I am at Q two, observe guys. So when I am at Q two. What if A comes? So if A comes, nothing is sinking, right? So here we are starting with B. So indirectly again, I am forced to come back completely for that particular A, right? Okay. So now moving on to B. So what about B? Okay. Okay. So I think this particular thing is wrong. So let us continue. So this is A, right? Yes. So now A we came. Okay. So basically, what is this string, guys? So this is B A A, right? So B A A means. I am going to come back because it is not even syncing with that thing because we want B A B. So I need to restart B A B, right? Yes. So that is the reason why I came back completely. Okay. But what if B comes? So if B comes, I can directly jump. Okay. So what if B comes, guys? So if B comes, it's already available in this way, right? Yes. So now this node is also done. So this node I am having a doubt. So let us round it for now. So now here. So if Q one, if A comes, I will go forward. If B comes, what I can do, guys? I can loop it here, right? Yes. So now let us check this last one, guys. I am having a doubt here, so I think I did this in a wrong way. So let us try. So now assume that our string is B A B A B. So now once you start here, so B will be here, A will be here. So now for B you will come here, for A you will come here, 
for b you will come here so now we are done with these things so now what if a comes so according to my diagram i told i will go to the start okay so after that b comes so i will be here but this is ending with bab right so then this particular arrow is a bit wrong right yes so let us analyze it again so now here it is ab right yes so i think instead of going to the start i think i can directly go here right because b a b a b so indirectly here this is b this is a and this is which is said again so indirectly bab loop is here right yes so that is the reason why the arrow can be directly from here okay yes so few students might be like okay please draw it again we understood that you explained clearly but we are a bit confused okay q1 a q2 b q3 okay so i think everyone is clear with the rest of the parts right so from here if b comes i will come here from here if a comes i will go to the start as it's going to break my whole conclusions so here if b comes we will come here the only thing is if here a comes i will come back here guys the only reason why i am saying is so here we are having b and that b can be continued and we can form with that b a and b right yes so that is what we have drawn so this is the correct answer got it yes so now if you analyze this so in the first question we are having a two the length is a two and we have three states here also we are having length two and the states are three so for two it is a three and for three it is a four so indirectly for n it will be n plus one got it yes so for ending strings so this is the result got it yes so now let us go through substrings guys substrings will be a bit easy so don't worry too much okay yes so substrings is one of the most easiest thing guys if you ask me right yes so let us try so when it comes to substrings so let us take two standard examples substring a b b okay so let us use our same approach a b and b so the thing is only if you practice you can understand these things carefully guys so please i think everyone is practicing right yes okay so now indirectly i am access i am accepting a b b so now indirectly anywhere you find a b b you can accept it right so indirectly i think here we can smoothly form this loop right so a b b after that anything might come no issue okay so what if at the start 100 b's came 100 b's came after that a b b came so i think we can loop here right yes because a will go front loop here so this node is done and this node is done so now moving on to q1 so in q1 assume that a is okay so basically assume that triple a b b so that should also be accepted right so a a a b b so indirectly i think here also we can form a loop with respect to a right yes so now this node is also done so now we are left out with this node only so now assume what if a comes here guys so do we need to jump to q node or do we need to come jump to q1 so i think we can directly jump to q1 because this a is going to strike off this a indirectly right yes so indirectly so assume in this way so assume the given thing is so a b a b b so if it starts so just give me a second so if we start here so for first a i will come here for b i will come here for a i will come here for b i will come here for b i will come here accepted so it's ending with or it's ending or having a substring a b b got it yes so similarly i think everyone can construct for substring a b a right so just to change it so here it will be a here it will be b here it will be a so write down the arrows q not start state q1 q2 q3 start and end state okay yes so now this is done so ending could be anything right so a comma b and what if before a 100 uh, sorry before a 100 b's came so they could be looped what if 100 a's came at the start so that could also be looped okay so now these parts are done so this part is done this part is done this part is done so now we are left out with q2 okay so now what should we do if a q2 b came so now assume what if a b comes guys so i think we cannot go here because this is a and this here we are returning with the b so i think we are forced to go to the start okay the reason why we went here is because these two values are matching so we can directly skip that particular step and we came here but here we cannot skip it because if we try to skip it it is going to accept a b b b a but this should not be accepted right because we need to have a b a in the middle right in between or somewhere okay yes so this is a nothing but a substring so now in substring what we can conclude guys so if our substring is a length 3 we are having a 1 2 3 and 4 so four states so indirectly here also we can conclude so if it is n it is n plus 1 got it yes so now i think everyone got a clear idea with respect to these things right so we understood with respect to start symbol end symbol and substring 
okay guys i'm being 100% clear here please practice these things guys okay yes so it might be easy now but as the time passes by you might forget these things guys okay yes so that is the reason why please practice these things okay yes okay okay so in the next lecture we'll be combining the start symbol and end symbol guys so in this lecture we discussed the starting and ending right so in the next lecture we'll be discussing starting and ending with a or starting and ending with b or starting and ending with starting with a and ending with b or starting with b and ending with a so in this way we will discuss multiple combinations guys because now we discussed some basics so now using these basics we are going to construct them okay yes so now i hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this thing right yes and please practice them guys okay yes so in the next lecture we'll be discussing about starting and ending with the combinations okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you